Hello, this is Steve Kitty Math, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the Merlin transform of one over one plus x. So we tra we are transforming from x to s. So first, the definition of Merlin transform is the Merlin transform. The definition of the Merlin transform, the Merlin transform of f of x of a function f of x to s is the integral from 0 to infinity from 0 to infinity of x to the power of s minus 1 times f of x dx of course so uh, this is the definition of the Merlin transform the Merlin transform of f of x to s is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of s minus 1 times f of x dx. So now the Merlin transform of 1 over 1 plus x is... I'm gonna copy and paste this. The Merlin transform of 1 over 1 plus x using the definition of Merlin transform and substituting f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity from 0 to infinity of x to the power of s minus 1 times 1 over 1 plus x so it's gonna be x to the power of s minus 1 over 1 plus x over 1 plus x dx all right so here is the Merlin transform of 1 over 1 plus x in the form of an integral of course not the final not the final answer yet so the the using the definition of the Merlin transform then we have the Merlin transform of 1 over 1 plus x to s is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of s minus 1 over 1 plus x dx because the Merlin transform of a function f of x is the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s minus 1 times f x dx so um, now we need to know the definition or no not the definition but a definition of the beta of the beta function the beta function so the the beta the beta function has many definitions like at least three forms that, I mean at least three integral forms that I know yes yeah, so we're gonna use one of those three and uh, the beta function the beta function of uv let's say uv normally i would i would use like xy but we already used x and or i would use like st but we already used s so uv that's just like my third choice of pairs of variables anyway the be the beta function of uh, u and v is equal to the integral the integral from 0 to infinity of um x to u minus 1 x to the power of u minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the power of u plus v to the power of u plus v and then dx of course So the beta function of u and v is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of u minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the power of u plus v. This is the definition of the beta function. So we know the integral form of the Merlin transform of 1 over 1 plus x. And now we know the definition of the beta function. So the... Okay, so... The Merlin transform of 1 over 1 plus x is the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of s minus 1 divided by 1 plus x. So it looks kind of similar to the definition of the beta function, right? 
So the U, it will be for the better function of U and V, it will be the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the U minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the power of U plus V dx. And so for the million transform of 1 over 1 plus x, the U here is going to be S. And what is the V going to be? Well, we have in the bottom, we have 1 plus x to the power of 1. So u plus v is 1, and we know that u is s, so v is 1 minus s. So the Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x. I'm going to copy and paste this. So the Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x, not s. 1 over 1 plus x, the Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x is equal to the beta function of s and 1 minus s s and 1 minus s s and 1 minus s alright so using the definition of the Mellin transform we got the integral form of the the integral of the Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x and then using the definition of the beta function we got that the Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x is equal to the beta function of s and 1 minus s so but this is not the final answer yet we can simplify this even more now there's a nice formula for connecting there's a nice formula connecting the beta function and the gamma function which is the beta function of uv equals the gamma function or it's a fraction so I need to write the fraction first and then the gamma function of u times the gamma function of v divided by the gamma function of u plus v of u plus v all right, so here's the formula of beta function and gamma function. So the beta function of u and v is equal to gamma of u times gamma of v divided by gamma of u plus v. So using this uh, formula, then the Mellin transform, I'm going to copy and paste this. The Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x, which we found it to be the beta function of s and 1 minus s, is equal to using the formula connecting the beta function and the gamma function, it is equal to gamma of s times gamma of 1 minus s divided by gamma of so s plus 1 minus s is 1 so gamma s times gamma of 1 minus s divided by gamma of 1 and so here's the here's the million transform of 1 over 1 plus x in the form of like gamma functions so the million transform of 1 over 1 plus x is equal to gamma of s times gamma of 1 minus s divided by gamma of s plus 1 minus s which is 1 and so we can simplify this more gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 factorial so gamma of 1 is 0 factorial which is 1 and then gamma of s times gamma of 1 minus s that's a nice formula for it so gamma of s hold on gamma of s times gamma of 1 minus s is equal to the fraction pi over sine of pi s sine pi s pi over sine of pi s pi s all right this is the reflection formula of the gamma function I think oops I made a mistake somewhere probably missing a bracelet not a bracelet br a bracket 
Why did I say bracelet? Wait, is this called a bracket or a parenthesis? I think it's called a bracket, right? <laughs> Never mind, I my brain's not working. Anyway, so gamma of s times gamma of y minus s is equal to pi over sine of pi s. This is the reflection formula of the gamma function. So, using this formula, then our final answer for the Mellin transform of one over one plus x, one over one plus x, is equal to. I'm gonna copy and paste this. No, not that. This. So our final answer for the Mellin transform of one over one plus x is equal to. Well, I'm gonna copy and paste the thing. The formula, the ref the reflection formula of the gamma function, is equal to pi over sine of pi s. This is our final answer for the Mellin transform of one over one plus x. So the Mellin transform of one over one plus x to s is equal to pi over sine of pi s. After using, we got this by using the definition of the Mellin transform, of course. And then we evaluated the integral using the beta function and then simplified it using the gamma function, the reflection formula of gamma. And yeah, that's our final answer, pi over sine of pi s. It's the Mellin transform of 1 over 1 plus x. And if you like this video, if you like my content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please also follow my Instagram math page with the same name, DVKT Math. And thank you for watching.